have a job to do now. Let's do it. So I've made some uh, gun control videos to try to show you what I think the controlling people want to do. And I had to take another look at it today. I had to get to some facts. Because there's all this hyperbole and all this emotion out there. And it's a scary time. We're living in kind of a crazy world. And I had to, you know, crunch the numbers, as we used to say in the 80s or 90s or whenever that was. But anyway, so the Patriots, America. America has the largest civilian army on the planet. By far. By a factor of 100. So when the, the stories of these shootings come out and these gun laws and blah, 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 the powers that be understand the same thing that I'm telling you right now. There are a hundred million Americans that own guns and that are willing to use them. And there are probably 30 million Americans who own guns who don't exactly know where they stand on the whole issue, which is fine because we're all on our own path. God has given us our abilities and our strengths and our weaknesses. And, and so we're going to do what we're going to do when it comes down to it. But I looked at a couple of numbers like the Chinese army and the Russian army and the U.S. army and the American citizen has all of them outnumbered a hundred to one. We are not General Custer. We are not the Zulu tribe who got massacred by, you know, 300 Brits. We are the most powerful force on this planet and it's up to us now to a stand for what's right secondly take the republic back as quickly as possible see through the fiction of the federal reserve of the administrative procedures act we have to stop the foreign entanglements and the foreign wars and basically you guys have to get up off your asses and get get involved get engaged get with the program they can't touch us they know it i know it and now you know it there are so many more of us than are of them who are armed and willing to stand for the right things in life, stand for liberty, stand for your family, that they will never, ever try gun confiscation. I promise you this. And I'm showing you the numbers as I'm talking about this because I, just, frankly, just don't have the time to break it down frame by frame like I normally do. But I want you to consider this because I think we're good people. American citizens are good people. We have a bad government. We've had a corrupt government for more than 50 years who have caused foreign wars not on our behest, and they've stolen our tax money left and right. And now pay attention to these numbers, because if you really look at this, you will realize you're in charge. You sitting there watching this who own a gun, you're in charge. Now, if you do the right thing, I'm on your side. And if we let them do the wrong thing again and again and again then shame on us so I appreciate your comments put something down there I've got a link I'm going to throw in there anyway thanks for watching